So let's start with the latest news in the last couple of days. The world experienced a global outage uh, yesterday of Facebook, uh, Instagram, a service that it that it owns, uh, and WhatsApp, at least in in some areas. It's probably too early to to say with any precision what happened in this outage, but sense uh, of what people experienced and what can be done by the companies, by the public uh, to prevent this kind of thing from happening in the future? Yeah, uh, great question. So uh, from everything that I have seen, this was not any sort of malicious attack or hack. It was really a uh, configuration error. It was a technology outage. Uh, I think it actually speaks to the point you just showed a clip uh, of me talking about resilience. And I think that is the key lesson learned here. You know, I spent the past four and a half years in the private sector at Morgan Stanley. I went there to build our cyber fusion center to be the center of gravity for how we protect the bank in cyberspace. But I ended up as the head of firm resilience. And I really think that's a recognition that there are so many bad things out there that can disrupt uh, our business, whether you're a business uh, leader or whether you're in government, and you're worried about things like critical infrastructure as I am. And so in many ways, you have to expect that a disruption will occur and therefore you have to do everything you can to prepare for it, uh, be able to respond to it, recover from it, to mitigate uh, any damage to your, uh, to your nation, to your critical infrastructure, to your business model, to your uh, customers and clients. And so the way that environments uh, are built these days is really with that resilience uh, baked in and security baked in. And that's a lesson learned for all of us, whether we're in business, uh, large or small, or in the government doing what we do at CISA, which is uh, leading the national effort to understand and manage and reduce risk to our cyber and our physical infrastructure. So resilience really is the name of the game. So I'm just curious what things were like yesterday at, at CISA, at your agency, when uh, this outage happened. I assume that there's a kind of a rush to figure out what's going on, uh, questions asked. Were you in touch with the company and its engineers uh, through, uh, through CISA yesterday? Uh, we were not directly in touch. My op center is uh, configured to monitor all of this information. Uh, and so as soon as we saw indications of it, uh, we began monitoring it and, you know, late into, I think it was into the evening when we learned that uh, it was in fact a configuration error, but we also monitor everything, uh, other signs because of this had been some sort of a, uh, a major cyber incident. We wanted to make sure that we were keeping an eye on all other critical, you know, critical infrastructure that could be impacted as well. So we have capabilities in our op center to be able to understand the environment and make sure that we are leaning forward if there are incidents and we need to be able to prepare to respond to them uh, to help uh, any of our partners recover. And then importantly, to be able to take in information that will allow us to share that information broadly. And this is one of the things I, that I talk about, David, is CISA's superpower, which is really our ability through statute to be able to share many to many to allow us to warn other potential victims had it been uh, something more serious than a technology outage. Uh, 